Let's take a quick look at the projector tool that's been added recently in 3D Coat 4.9. If I click on its icon to the left of the camera menu, you'll see a new panel which enables me to turn the projector on or off, adjust the opacity, assign the texture from a location on my hard drive, or I can pick from a stencil, a smart material, pick from image reference, and we can also fill a paint layer with a projection. In general, this projection tool really is just for reference sake in the viewport, as opposed to using a stencil or a material, because these use images to project either paint or sculpt deformation directly. Let's go ahead and turn our attention to using image reference first, and then we'll look at using a stencil. So I'll click on the icon for using an image reference, and we can place one along a specific axis. In this case, I'll choose Edit Image Placement because I already have one set up. Next, I'll click Show Hide in order to unhide the image. And if I have it placed where I want and want to hide the gizmo, I can choose Close Guides. One thing to keep in mind about image placement is 3D Code is going to use this to project along the axis for which this is set. As you can see here, this is set for the Z axis. When using the stencil or the material option in the projection panel, it will be based on screen space. With that being set up, let's go ahead and click on our projector icon. And I already have it checked to enable it. This time I'm going to come down and pick from reference. Okay. Now it's very faint, so I need to adjust the opacity. So let's bring that up to 100%. So as you can see, it's stretching these pixels on the edge over here, but that's because the way this is lined up at image placement, you can see how that's working. Okay. So. Let's go ahead and move it back. I can go ahead and sculpt if I want using this projection as a visual guide. Once more, I can actually save this to a layer. So I'm going to go to the layer panel. I'm going to create a new layer and I can close guides. Go back to the projector tool and I can choose fill the layer with projection. All right, now I can go ahead and hide the projector. And what it's done is it's basically tiled this. But that's fine. I can use this again as a visual guide or I can use it as a base for texture painting. Okay, so I can go in and just do some basic touch-ups, but largely keep this texture intact. And obviously you can use tools in the paint workspace to erase. So let's use the erase brush and rectangular lasso. I can go to an orthographic view if I need. Okay. So you get the idea. Now let's go ahead and try and use a stencil as a means of projection. So let's go ahead and hide our image. Image placement, show hide, close guides. Let me create a new layer. This time I'll choose some type of a rock texture and I'll choose reset, I'll scale it. I can turn tiling off if I need. Let's go to the projector panel and let's choose pick from stencil. As I mentioned before with stencils, it's going to project based on screen space or based on the camera view. I'm going to go and close that. And I can adjust the opacity of that projection. Now, if I want to fill a layer with this projection, I can click that. And there we have it. 
So that's going to conclude this look at using the projector tool in 3D coats. I think in many cases you'll find it to be very helpful. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.